What's up everybody, we're back with Spyro 3 Reignited Trilogy. As you can tell by the title of the video, we will be going into Spooky Swamp. This is probably the only portal in the whole game that requires a ladder to climb up to maybe even the whole franchise. Yeah, I'm sorry for my last video, that was because I was frustrated with the skateboard challenge with Enchanted Towers, but I feel much better about it. I'm looking forward to going into this level. See how they redesigned it. Spooky Swamp is, or this level is one of the most memorable levels in, in the game for me, and I love it already. And I, I don't know if you saw, but that was a piranha sign. If I destroy all those, I'll get a skill point. I was mean. I thought I was a goner. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. You probably figured this by now, but every every character in this level speaks haiku. And what I have to do is light all these giant tea lamps. I'll show you later, but if I go over that water. Piranhas will. As I was saying, if I try to go over that water, piranhas will jump out of it and try to get me. In fact, maybe I can show you right now. Now that Sparks is back to health. Oh, yeah, see? There they are. There they are. I was going to say that in the PS1 version, the water was just... Yeah, here I, here I go with my PS1 references. But that's how I roll. But in the PS1 version of the level, the water was just basically blue with... I mean, blue with that was completely clear as well. I mean, it was completely clear, but if it were a color, it would be blue. So, when I saw images of the green water online, I knew it was going to take some getting used to, and I'm used, and I'm used to it by now. I was probably sat by Zoe three or four times there, <laughs> but before I, before I go after any enemies, I need to get Sparks back. So maybe if I find a lobster or something, I'll get a butterfly. Okay, not the best start to a level, but since I was at by so many, so many times, I think I'm in the good. I'm in the clear. Besides, if I didn't go back, I totally would have forgotten about that tea lamp. Two enemies at once. Nice. For a second, I thought I saw a rocket for a locked chest. Like this one right here. We're gonna need a key. And since I died in that stupid way at Enchanted Towers, I don't have to worry about keeping my streak anymore. As I get sparks back. What's that, Gator? Just break the vase for me? Thanks. I see the first egg over there. I'll have to figure out how to get it. Okay, three down, one to go. Oh, I can't see it because of my camera, but... I have to light four lamps in total, and I got three of them. Every time I light one, the number goes up. Oh, I was going to talk about the music a minute ago. It really fits the uh, swamp feel of the game really well. 
I'll give you a chance to listen to it. And there's Moneybags. I've been very eager for this exact moment in the game when I talk to Moneybags right here. I'll tell you why. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. Even he's speaking IQ. Pay 500 gems. Sure, just shut up. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. <laughs> I bet. But of all lines I want to hear Spyro say in that game, that was the one line specifically. Sure, just shut up. It's the one line I've wanted to hear him wanted to hear him say the most. I mean, I've been waiting 15 years for him to say that line, but I never heard it. Unless again, uh, unless we get an update later in the future, where you can have voice actors say all the replies. But that's very brave dragon, much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. The Lanos La name. I probably mispronounced it as well. Alright. I probably have one last tea lamp right here. That's it. Ah, it unlocks that challenge. You'll see what it is in a minute. But hey. At least I can collect the gems and eggs. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot about this uh, tree gliding challenge right here. Oh, I love the leaf textures on there as I get the key for the chest, which we'll have to backtrack for, obviously. Speaking of backtracking... Anyway, I'll give you a chance to listen to the music before I turn on the original music. You know what? Since we're here, let's take care of these two challenges. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. What or who? A creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light. He has awoken. Uh-oh. He swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. But they're using me. Yeah. No offense, but Spyro actually have a, has a chance. Let's go confront this wizard. Oh, you look so cute in his pajamas. Uh, not so cute after all. Yep, to defeat him, we, all we have to do is throw the bombs back at him. And dodge those things, obviously. So that's where all the gators are coming from. See? Just like that. I always thought of this one area as like a little mini boss battle. Because of how we have to beat the wizard. I'm right halfway there. I'm having flashbacks of Buzz's dungeon, that's how easy this, this challenge is. Alright, one more I'll do it. You know what? If I if I got all three of those in one in one breath, I'd be really proud of myself. And just like that, we rescue Herbie. Very nice, Herbie. Nice flip. Oh, we rescued Herbie from that wizard. Let's go to our first Sheila challenge. 
Thanks for the invite. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. <laughs> that one sentence is funny. Or the whole haiku sentence is funny. Saying uh, positive things about the swamp and saying she's good kick butt. But here's our first Sheila challenge in the game. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg gauge. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will Sheila help us? Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. <laughs> it's nice that someone's helping with, with the egg the egg hunt. All we have to do is clear those rocks out for these little bombers. Oh! Alright, I don't want to lose sight of them. Okay, good first try. Ow. I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. Okay, rocks can be kicked. Mushroom stomped. Got it. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. I love how he's so eager to free the eggs. Always don't have to clear rocks anymore. Actually, if I fail this one challenge, or this one attempt, maybe I'll have to go back and destroy all the rocks before trying again. Please don't go in that mushroom. Alright, I don't know where he's going. Ouch. Ow. I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushroom. We will be waiting. When you return to help us, we shall bomb again. I'll return, alright. I just gotta clear all the rocks first. Thing is, the mushrooms, I can't stop them too early because they'll just pop back out of the ground. And obviously, I don't want to kick them too late. Well, you probably know why. So, may as well get all these gems first. And there's a ledge we can jump on. I stand corrected. I want to do a quick 360 before I leave for good. In that area, area I mean. <laughs> oh, I forgot to point out. Well, you probably heard it. In the Sheila challenge. In the Sheila challenge. <sighs> I'm getting tongue tied. In any Sheila challenge. In any level through theme song will play. The same will apply to the other playable characters will unlock throughout the game. Speaking of which, and that's where we have to lead the fireflies to free those eggs. And I see a breakable wall right here. The way those rocks fell was just so satisfying. To free those eggs. Alright, let's try again. I always find it helpful to have the camera at a from an aerial point of view so I can get a better idea of where the firefly is going. Or better yet, maybe I should just stomp every mushroom in sight as he approaches the area. I think I can do either one, but I'll do this one first. We have the bombs here. We must Let's go yes, again. It's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. That line is not getting old for me. Not getting old at all. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. I just love his eagerness to help free the eggs. Alright, I remember this one mushrooms next. I don't know if that was if I had to do that one, but better safe than sorry. If I remember correctly, this. This was the next mushroom I have to do. 
I stand corrected. I went boom. Okay. Yes, it's all right. I have it memorized now. Well, partially. I just gotta follow the brick trail. Oh, please don't pop out of the ground. Yeah, he's. That's what I mean. And that's what I mean by stopping him too soon. I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. They must be stomped at the correct moment. Oh. I don't know anything about how about making haiku. They make it seem so simple. Maybe if I took a course on it. I can master it, but I don't have time for that. I'm too busy making gaming videos for you guys. As well as making trailer reactions for you. It's gotta be this one. And... Alright. I'm in, un I'm in uncharted territory right now. Oh! Oh, it's the exact same one! Live and learn. Big rocks can be yes. Let's go again. Yes. And I'm not cutting out my failed attempts because with each with each attempt, well, with almost everyone, I'm learning how to master this challenge. So I, I just gotta remember to stomp that mushroom twice. This one right here. It's like the alchemist. He goes in such a weird, a weird direction. I mean, it's almost like he's trying not to go in a logical direction. All right, it's gotta be this one. Oh, all right. At least I knew which one to do. I went boo. Yes. At least he's not getting hurt by the bombs. Well, if it gets to the point where I fail multiple times, I'll cut out my failed attempts. It's gotta move fast. Alright, maybe I shouldn't do the double jumps to save time. And this, this one I just gotta time perfectly. Alright. Now! Let's see if it starts shaking. Alright. This one. Oh, come on. It's gotta be this one. Yes! We got Peggy out. Aww. Remains. Will you now help my brother to freeze the last egg? Of course I will. If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. All right, I love their enthusiasm for the eggs. Okay, I just realized some of the mushrooms I won't even have to touch. So, all right. Obviously, this is my first attempt, so I'm just going with my gut for right now. Oh, uh, where are you going? Ah, uh, buddy. If you just moved in a way that avoided the mushrooms, you would have had the egg street a long time ago. And I don't know, and we have to get this one. First attempt! Yes! As a rescue, Michelle. 
Those dragons are so cute. The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. Such a joyous occasion. Two baby dragons born today. Well, actually, more like five or six baby dragons per level. <laughs> anyway, let's see if Sparks will check the... Oh, there's a gem missing in this level. And I think I know where to look. I just wanted to let Sparks lead the way. It's up there. I stand corrected again. <laughs> oh, I thought that Lionel Bricks was there to trick me, but turns out I, I tricked myself. And there's another breakable wall. Is that it? Man, uh, there's more. But man, those cracked walls blend so well. Well, it can't be in this direction. Oh. Can't make it easy. There we go. Wait, are there more gems or are you pointing me in the direction of the portal? And that's the last challenge of the game. All, yep. All we have to do now is find two more eggs and the rest of the gems. But thankfully we only have 12 gems left. And they gotta be in that locked chest. Oh, Sparks pointing me to the wizard's bedroom. I think he is. Well, obviously he can't go into that acid. Oh! Or in this case, piranha water. Where are you pointing to? Oh. I think I know where he was pointing me. Yeah, it's gotta be to that locked chest. But well, as long as we're navigating, then we, we may as well switch to the original music. But I really want to try out the world when we saw a minute ago. Right here. Watch, it'll take me right back. Yep, I just wanted to try. It feels so silly going through this whole level for one chest. Of course, I've gone through a whole level just for one single gem. There's the egg and a handful of gems. But we're still missing an egg after this. Name me. What was he going to say? Alright. Up to 50 eggs. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to go across the treetops again. Like I tried earlier. If I can find my way back. Ah, oh, there's the egg up there. I just have to... Well, obviously, I have to get onto the first treetop. I just hope it doesn't take... I hope it doesn't make the video too long, because... We're pushing 25 minutes, and... I really don't want this video to be a half hour long. 
If that's the case, I might edit out my failed attempts on the on the mushroom challenge. Even though I said I was going to keep them, it might make more sense for me just to cut them out to make the video shorter. Because, like I said, I really don't want my video to be a half hour long. Alright. All the sparks lead the way. Should I fly the gem or the egg? Gem. Save the more important thing for last. Oh, last gem and last egg. Maybe I will keep my attempts. Yeah, Frank is giving me permission to keep my attempts because this uh, the video is still under a half hour. Now that, that level's complete. All right. Speaking of time, time to get out of here. I probably should have jumped in that water, but. I did anyway. Even though it was fairly long, that went much smoother than my Enchanted Towers playthrough. Oh wait, was it Enchanted Towers? I was frustrated with last. Yeah, I thought I was confusi confusing it with another level. We'll have to go back to it, but that's a video for another day. Next up will be Bamboo Terrace. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.